This is sloth number one. We call him Binky, and he's having some bamboo for breakfast. And then we have another one. I believe this is the three-toed, and then we have a two-toed. This tree right here is one that sloths really like. They get something up on top of the leaves. There's a little soft... Um, soft growth that comes out of the top of the leaves and the um, sloths like them. It's amazing how much he looks like a human as he's sitting there with his butt. He's using his two arms to, to get the food. He keeps looking up whenever he hears a loud noise. As you can tell by this side, they just look like some garbage that gets caught in the branches of those trees, so they feel safe. You can hardly see them when they're staying still and not eating. They do come down once every two weeks to go to the bathroom. This is the um, what appears to be the purple pit viper that was sitting in the garage that Andy and Barry are getting ready to put in a, um, in a bottle. It's a really beautiful color purple. It looks like a pit viper, but the colors, look at that. It's amazing. So there's our gate from the inside. And this is the road that we built. It goes down and you pass the creek. I make a habit of always looking right. And always looking left just in case there's a kingfisher passing. So here is where Barry found the snake this morning. This is the right-hand side of the road as you drive in. Today is August 20th, 2011, and today is the day that they are planning on disassembling this uh, little shack. And So this is day two of the demolishing the uh, Casa di Dan Antonio, and this is what's left. All the wood there is uh, down. We're going to put it in the two burn piles, but one of the burn piles we have, there's a sloth that's really close, so we're trying to figure out what to do with the wood. We can't burn it in place because it'll ruin the concrete pads that are there, and also we have our electrical cable above it. Hey, wife. Hey, husband. Want to tell us what's going on? Um, we're currently having the uh, funeral pyre for Don Antonio's house. If you pan over to your left, you'll see what's left of what was the famous shack of shame. Well, there's nothing there but a few concrete pads. Well, That's we have our third fire today. Third fire. And our biggest. Beautiful thing. 